Suno has released a huge update to its platform for Pro and Premiere users, which I believe are some of the best changes it's made so far to the platform. The updates are to the song editor, stems, a new advanced option for added creativity, and changes to audio uploads. I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. The first big change is their revamped song editor. This can be accessed by finding a song in your library, clicking on the three dots, hover over remix slash edit, and click open in editor. It will take you to a new interface with significantly more customization options. All parts of your song are color coded to separate sections like the verse, intro, and so on. Something I really like is replacing lyrics is much easier. On the left hand side, highlight which lyrics you want to change and Suno will highlight the text and put a box around the section of the song on the right. Click new lyrics and then make the edits to the lyrics and then click replace. Suno will generate two versions select and play the one that works best and then when you like it you can click on regenerate or you can click the three dots you can change the color code you can delete it you could crop out portions of the section you don't like and you can reload the lyrics you can now zoom on the timeline just like you would in any video or film editor on the bottom right you have zoom in and zoom out and you can also use keyboard shortcuts. So on the Mac, it's holding down the command button. I would imagine this would be the control button for Windows. And then you can just scroll on the trackpad or on your mouse wheel and adjust accordingly. Either by moving this vertical cursor to the right or just right clicking on your trackpad or on your mouse, you can split clips and you can also create a new section. You can also hover your mouse over when there's a break in the song, click the arrow and it'll also add a new section that way. By doing so, you can go back to the left. You can add in whatever lyrics that you want to add. For this example, I'm just keeping it down to one word. And then you can click on create. Suno will go through the process of creating two alternative versions. You can even change the beats per minute in a song section. By going down to this gear option at the bottom, if you click on it, switch from original BPM to custom BPM, this will now illuminate the numbers and you can go up or down to make adjustments to the beat per minute. There's also a metronome button that you can switch on and off for those who want to ensure tempo consistency. To extend a song, go to the end of your song and click on the arrow button. This will highlight your entire song. Take the vertical slider that's at the beginning and then you can move it along to the part of the song that you want to extend from. And then you can just click the extend button. One neat new feature is the ability to drag and drop various sections of your song for much faster edits. And what do I mean by that? Let's say in this example, I wanted to add another bridge earlier in the song. Hovering my mouse over on the bridge until I see the hand icon, click on it, right click, and now I can duplicate it. I can go back on the mouse cursor until again I see the hand, and now I can just simply click down and then I can just drag the bridge where I want it to be in the song. Dragging and dropping can be done for any section in any part of the song. The next big change is to song stems. Select a song in your library, click on the three dots, and hover over get stems. At the bottom you'll see vocals plus instrumental. This was the old way of getting stems. What you'll want to do is you'll want to select all detected stems. Keep in mind selecting this option does cost 50 credits to generate. Suno will now provide you with the stem for every aspect of the song, down to the backing vocals and all of the individual instruments. On the left, you'll see two letters, S and M. S stands for solo, and by clicking on it, it will isolate that part of the song for you to listen to. And then if you want to listen to it, there's a play button next to stems. Click on it. Five golden rays where dreams survive. If you want to select more than one solo stem, Hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then you can individually select some of the stems by clicking on the S button, and then you can play them simultaneously. The M button stands for mute. That's pretty self-explanatory if you just want to mute individual stems. There are two versions of stems, but for me, they sound the same. If you wanted to regenerate the stems again, you could do so, but it would cost you another 50 credits. 
You can download all of the stems simultaneously or on the right hand side, click and download each one individually. But before you download, if you want to change the audio quality, click the three dots here to make that switch. The next new change is advanced options. When creating a custom song, this section has been added with two new creativity tools. There's a weirdness slider, which you can dial up and down to 100%. Dialing it up provides Suno with flexibility to take liberties with the song creation process for interesting results. And there's now also a style influence. Dialing that up ensures when your song is created, Suno does a better job of matching the style of music that you have specified in the style description section. Let's test these out. I'm going to create a 70s British rock song with male vocals. Let's create the song and dial the influence up to 100% and hear how this sounds. Here it is. Take a listen. are falling down My body's disappearing now And no one seems to hear a sound Inside this void, inside this shell And I have known that face before I watched you walk right out the door But you were a ghost that I can't see a memory that won't leave me Now let's dial the influence back to 50% and increase the weirdness to 100%. Here it is. <laughs> Well, if Suno was going for weird, they definitely achieved it because it's completely garbled. Here's another version where the weirdness has been dialed down to just 60%. All my walls are falling down my body's disappearing now And no one seems to hear a sound Inside this void, inside this shell definitely gives the song a different flavor. The next new change is to audio uploads. Suno now allows you to upload up to eight minutes so you can start creating from full songs or maybe just a really long guitar riff. This is a welcome addition that users were wanting for a while now. If you got value out of this video, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out when new content goes live. And if you're looking to learn more about getting creative with AI tools, I have more content available that you can click on right here.